Hey guys, it's me, your girl, if I'm Michelle, coming to you live and direct from my home. Yeah, I'm here again. It's getting late and I really wanted to do this video for you um, before the end of the day. Um, I posted late yesterday and so I will be posting in the evenings. Um, so we'll be working a day behind, I think it would work out. So yesterday and today you would have been clearing it out. That's day one. And you would have done that um, throughout today, as I did uh, in my home. And it was great. It was a, a challenge. There were some things that, you know, I felt that I needed to keep. But I had to really sit with myself and say, do you really need this? Is it serving you? What purpose does it serve? And if I couldn't answer those three questions, in the bin. So I started in my bedroom and I started, uh, started upstairs from the top working down my bedroom and the bathroom. So, you know, sometimes we accumulate so much junk and then it made me think, I wonder how much junk is up here, stinking thinking, you know? So it's been a good day, it's been a busy day. So today is day two, to give you the day two tip, and that is, I touched on it yesterday actually, I spoke about it just briefly, but today's number two, day two, is watch your mouth. Yeah, it's as simple as that. And the reason why we need to watch our mouth is because we curse our own selves without even knowing, without even thinking, without taking it on board. We just say stuff. And it just goes out there in the in the atmosphere and it sits in our subconscious and that's what works. You know, we say things like, I'm broke. I'm so stupid. And that just sits in the unconscious mind. And so that's what comes to you. And then you start to believe it. How could I be so stupid to do this? How could I do this? You have to watch your mouth. Don't start speaking those things over yourself. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. And you were created in the image of God. You are so beautiful. How could you be stupid? How could you be broke? When he would never see you forsaken and never see you beg bread, ever. If you align yourself with the higher source of God. So today... The words I'm speaking to you, your challenge today is to watch your mouth. So there's two things that I want you to do, um, two exercises. And the first one is when you wake up every morning, every morning. And the last thing before you go to bed at night, I want you to get in front of your mirror. And hopefully it'll be a long one so you can see your the full extent of who you are. And say, hi, you look lovely today. Now, you might feel a little bit silly doing this at first, but you'll go, just go with it. And then just say this. I am a child of God. I am, I am the image of God. God loves me and I am one with God. That's it. Every single day. Because the truth of the matter is, is that you were created in his image. Therefore, you are beautiful. Therefore, whatever you produce is excellent. But you have to see that and start to speak that moreover until it becomes your reality, until it becomes true to you, until it is absorbed in your subconscious that's what you that's what you need to do now i'm giving you tools and tips of what i've done to change my life and produce miracles in my life i have mir miracles happen every day in my life every day every single day but it's whether you choose to see it as a miracle or whether you just choose to just be blinded and just carry on living a life and not actually being present in your life so, watch your mouth. What does that mean? It means that 
everything we say has life. Our words are like seeds. And when you plant a seed, it grows. So every time you say something, for instance, every time someone says, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Why do I do that? Stupid. I, 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 I make stupid choices. So because you of confessing that, every time you have to make a choice, you make a, you make a, a really bad choice. But if you were to turn and say, I make excellent choices, I think things through and I make good choices, it becomes part of your psyche, it becomes part of who you are, it becomes your methodology. So your, your unconscious mind starts to work and tell you, actually, that is a good idea. Actually, no, that's not a good idea, so don't do that. This is where intuition... All of those things start to kick in. So you have to do yourself a favour now and really start to make positive affirmations, positive words of power over your life. You know, if I had said, I'll never have my own business, I probably wouldn't. But it's something that I spoke over and over and over and over and over and over again until it became a reality even even singing i remember my first singing uh uh event after a very very long time and i cried at that event it was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life it was terrible i i, I cried all the way through it like <laughs> But you know what? I had to tell myself that I'm going to sing. Because singing is something that brings joy. It brings comfort. It brings peace. It, it, it takes me to a different place. It, 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 just, it just elevates me. I feel, like, I feel like there's arms around me when I sing. It's such a comforting thing. And I had to keep telling myself, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. I'm going to be a singer. I can sing. I can sing. I am a singer. I am a singer. And I will sing. And I'm singing now. And what do I do? I sing. That's what I do. It's the same with everything. You know, my hair when I was young was jacked up. Jacked. How my hair was. I couldn't do my hair. I had to learn. And each day, doing cane rows and, and straightening and blow drying and all those things, each day I saw myself get better and better and better and better and better. And that's what happens. So rather than seeing yourself in the negative, we're going to learn to reframe that and see it in the positive. And from there, we're going to grow and we're going to thrive because this is what it's about. This is what manifesting your miracles means. It means that you are in a position where you are constantly thriving and growing and producing the results that you want. So when you look at yourself in the mirror, you can be proud. So the first one I want you to do is look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself who you are. First and foremost, who you are. I am a child of God. He loves me and I love him. And I am one with God and God is one with me. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen. I want you to draw a line down the middle of the paper. And I want you to, every time that you speak something negatively, I want you to write it down. Okay? So... You may say that, for instance, I am stupid, yeah, for whatever reason. Um, but on the other side, you know, I want you to write, I am intelligent, I have good ideas, and every idea is blessed by God. That's one I just made up up my head. But every time you tell yourself that, I want you to cross that out and... And tell yourself the positive affirmation. And so it becomes something that be it becomes part of you, becomes part of your psyche, becomes a natural thing. You know, one of the things I know with young girls, what they say is that they're ugly. A lot, there are a lot of young girls out there who think they're unattractive 
one because they might not be skinny uh two they may have afro hair yeah i'm going there they may have afro hair and so like me I, this you know this is hair extensions this is not my natural hair this is hair that i paid for and it looks very very nice but this is about convenience it's not about because i think my hair is like because i have beautiful afro hair beautiful curls and i'm proud of my ethnicity and so but we do have young people out there that don't appreciate don't like the way that they look in this world of plastic surgery and all all kinds of nonsense that's going out there i want you to come back come back to yourself and start to see yourself for the very beautiful person that you are inside and out now just to say this today i made a comment i just had a thought and i thought being handsome and having no personality is a waste it really is <laughs> I just thought it was just a random thought which I posted on my other Facebook page but it's the truth but at the end of the day we all have the responsibility to talk well of ourselves to love ourselves and if we don't do that if we don't talk well of ourselves and love ourselves how is anyone else gonna love us or talk well of us so watch your mouth Watch your mouth, watch what you're saying, because you know what? You give license to other people saying horrible things about you too. So you have to take responsibility for that too. Because, you know, you could say, oh, I'm stupid. And then your partner says, oh, you're so stupid. And then you want to get upset with him or her because they've just confirmed what you've just said about yourself. So, today is watch your mouth. Tomorrow we're going to go into some other stuff. But today I really want you to focus on the words that you are saying about yourself, to yourself, especially when you're by yourself. And see yourself as a king, see yourself as a queen, see yourself as that wonderful, nurturing, beautiful person that you are, that have got, you've got so much gifts within you, so much stuff that's just oozing, waiting to come out, waiting for you to recognise your own worth and this is where we begin to start working on your confidence and your your self-worth to know that you are better than what you think you are and that you can do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or even think there is so much in you and you by the end of this seven days you're going to have the tools to produce the miracles in your own life and I think that's a great feeling and I'm really excited about it I'm excited about what I'm going to produce in my life I'm excited about what you're going to produce and I'd love to know what you want what your hopes what your dreams are what your aspirations are what is the miracle that you want is it one is it two you know is it you know do you want a better job I don't I don't know what it is it might be you want a, a relationship with somebody. I don't know. You know. But we're working together to bring it together, to manifest it together. So, this is your girl, Yvonne Michelle. It's a late one. A tired satil. I worked hard today. But I'm here to support you and to work with you as you do the same with me. So, this is your girl. I'm out now. I'm saying ciao and I will see you right back here tomorrow for day three of Miracle Week. So don't forget, continue to clear it out and the next one, remember, tomorrow, watch your mouth, get your piece of paper ready, get ready to start changing the way that you speak about yourself. Love you lots. Ciao, ciao.